Greetings! So, I was at Michael's today, and most of the Halloween stuff is gone! Good chunk of it's 50% off though, what's left, but wow! They already got Christmas stuff up! I'm like, really? I guess Christmas really is better than, than uh, Halloween and so far as sales, but still, it's not even Halloween yet. Hey guys, so I'm over at Greg's and it's a bit windy outside, so if you get that roughly noise, I apologize. Anyway, so we made a lot of tombstones this year and quite a few last couple years. Didn't really age them, didn't do the tea staining, that kind of thing. So I kind of got to thinking about airbrushing instead. So let me show you the results of some of mine and I'll also take a couple shots of ones that I have not done yet and then we can do a sort of before and after thing. So I'm particularly pleased with Edward Hands here. I think it looks pretty good. There's zero. Not as aged. And I just finished doing that one there. Now some of these tombstones we did not make. They were friends sort of make and take and then they gave us all the tombstones. Uh, here's another one I just airbrushed. It looks pretty darn good. So, ones that I have not airbrushed yet. Here we go. There's Lucius Pleasant and flip the camera over. Yeah. Philip M. Rare and person something or other. So I'm going to do these. There are certainly other ones out here that could use it. Got Corpse could use it. Uh, the In Memory of John Davies there could use it. 1950. Uh, wouldn't age too terribly bad. Uh, we're going to have a vacancy sign on that. Oh, that one could definitely use it. 1983, yeah, I could probably use it. Did like this tombstone uh, for those Jaws fans, the movie Jaws. Uh, so here lie Mary McKee, lived to the age of 103. For 21 years she kept her virginity. Not too bad for this vicinity. Yeah, yeah. Limericks, I love them. Uh, let's see. I don't know, those look pretty okay. That looks pretty okay. 1894 is the death date there. Yeah, I think that would have aged a bit more. I like this one, the Sir Stephen Forrest with the Masons. Uh, I am, I can, I will. Uh, got a little lichen, but it really didn't age it. Oh, 1954? Yeah. So there's one we did with the tea staining. Uh, sometimes the tea staining just looks like running mascara to me. I don't know. For my buddy Alex Tarasov. That one aged pretty alright. But again, yeah, that could use some aging. I just did this one as well. Eh, it's not a very good looking tombstone in the first place, so. And then I just did Charles Dex Dexter Ward, as you are now, so too I once was. And, I don't know, I, even our mausoleums could probably use some aging, but. I don't want to stretch my uh, air gun out that far. So anyway, catch you in a few. And okay, so these are now kind of done. Oh, well, I think they look a lot better. Certainly look older. Uh, perfect? No. But uh, also only took about 20 minutes. So, to, you know, it's a pretty good bang for your buck, I think and uh, certainly gives the impression of age, which is really what we're all looking for here. Say hi, Greg. Hi. Say hi, Adam. Hello. What are you doing? 
Uh, rewiring the animatronic ghost thingy. Right, because it, it did not survive storage in the attic for some reason. Yeah, the gears on it heated up on this one, heated up and then it frayed, and so it's not going down anymore. So, so I found a $25 one. Instead of buying the spirit store, you can edit that out. <laughs> Instead of buying one for 50 bucks or how how off, how much it costs, and uh, we're just going to switch motors. There you go. Guess what? It's made by the same company. The only difference is one has an antenna. Yeah, so we can remote control the old one. The new one, less expensive, but no remote control. We like the remote control, so swapping parts. But there's a good tip for you. If you have animatronics, especially kind of inexpensive ones from, uh, you know, Halloween stores, uh, don't store them in your attic if it gets hot in the summer. Yeah, and uh, mind you, always look to see if it's made by Techie. If Techie Toys makes it, who makes most of the Halloween animation stuff. That in Jiminy. In Jiminy, yeah. yeah. The, if, it's, if it's Techie to Techie, it's the same thing. Same parts. So, uh-oh, and there goes our coffin! Damn it, I really hate this wind. All right, so I'm gonna take you to the back. All right, so back here, what we're doing is just putting up furring strips right now, and we are gonna set these furring strips with scene setter walls. Uh, I know it's kind of cheap and such looking, but we just don't have the storage for more panels. Uh, so scene setter walls will go here, so the kitties will have to come through here it's about six feet something or other between these heights. So we're gonna put up a, a duck sign, which will hopefully get people ducking regardless of whether they're tall or not. And then they'll come through here. They'll see our wake, wake scene that will be built here. Right above is where a electric firecrack will go snappity snappity snap. Um, they'll see the keyboard there. That's just the lower portion of the keyboard, the Goonies keyboard, uh, and then from this area, which will be an alcove once the scene center wall goes up, um, we'll have our animatronic uh, crawling chick come out and hopefully at least scare the little kids. And we're thinking about one of the chairs back here rigging with just a fishing wire going up to there. Up there is where people will be uh, you know, giving out candy and pulling the, uh, a fishing wire, I think, to make one of the chairs just move by itself. Ooh, scary. Uh, so that's just another simple trick uh, that we're just gonna add into it. So that's about it for now. This is me, Aaron. Uh, more in a bit. And here are the uh, um, tombstones that I did yesterday, which you just saw a few minutes ago. Um, now in their proper place, looking at least not brand new. They don't necessarily look great aged, but at least they don't look brand spanking new. So that's I like that one. I think that ended up looking pretty nice and aged. Nice thing about that again, real quick, super duper quick. And at this point in time, since we're only two weeks out from the big night, quick is good. So what do we have you doing? I am putting wood filler in where we screwed in the bones here into the back of the organ, covering up the screws. That makes sense. Let's see. Oh, we should the femur's got to get replaced. That's going to have a uh, let's see how there's a uh, one in the corner there. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's another one. I think it's sitting in the garage. Over on that side there, you can see a couple. All right, so that's coming up. We got our non-moving organ player here dressed up make sure he'll be moving hopefully and our mourners looking much better this year so one of the guys that I had corpsed up in previous videos and backwards we have our scene setter wall I know, it's just scene setter, whatever, but this is more intimidating to be sure to come through here. We'll have our throne of bone right here with a scare actor in place. 
and they'll have to come through here and this is going to be draped off drapery there'll be a sign saying duck so they go low and come into the back our little animatronic Elizabeth will come out we got our electric firecracker here that will be placed in this Vesteria they'll go clack 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 and that's how the backyard's forming up and then that up on the door there skull of trees is, or tree o skulls I should say starting to get some of the skulls up there the relaxing skeleton on the Elizabeth tomb I'll do something with its head there another skeleton back there just sort of hanging out Mr. Clackety Hands is back and functional it's a Shiasu massager driven trick. Looks pretty good. Okay. Got our little corpsed kid on a swing. Again, we had hoped to motorize that, but that eh, just isn't going to happen this year. Uh, comes Greg with his coffin. And uh, chicken on a stick is. Missing an arm and a head. Missing an arm and a head. Working on it. I'll be back. And uh, so that's where that's going to go. Oh, and oh yeah, we got the little uh, skulls on stakes up in place. And the flying crank ghost has been installed into the crypt. So we get some power there. And anybody watching this probably knows how these guys work but we'll zoom in here real quick and it's just a an arm swinging around with a vent motor pulling three strings each string goes to an arm a head or the other arm and you get that up and down motion and of course at night with the black light on she'll glow more and you won't notice the transition between the styrofoam head and the gauze near as much. So that's how that's going to look. Hopefully we'll put maybe a tombstone kind of behind Mr. Clackety Hand so you don't see the mechanism right there. <laughs> yeah, maybe Charles Dexter Ward uh, tombstone that's on the ground should go there. So it's coming together. We still got a lot of stuff to put up, but coming together. Really touching the retina. Around with it. We have surgery to fix things like that, as well as the retinas. Hunters aren't cruel. <laughs> I want your eyes. <laughs> I want your eyes. I never said that. Now you've been watching this for 30 seconds. What the hell is going on? It's it's, it's a dead prop, but the LED lights still work, and we're hoping to gouge out the eyes too. <laughs> The, uh, the LEDs. Uh, just because we... Yeah, that prop just never worked. Well, you saw it last two years on, on videos, if you watched the previous videos. But it's plastic. Its arms started breaking. It's just not worth putting together again. We never could trigger it right. So, 